The recent warmth and rainfall really helped out the garden flowers and, of course, the lawn. Everything has really started popping over the last few days, and this week, Tom is checking up on the lawn, figuring out what can be done to make it better. Welcome back, Northern Michigan. It's uh, back to lawn time again. Justin here with uh, Morgan Composting. Justin, lawn looking pretty good, nice and lush for the most part, little brown spots. Yeah. But uh, we still have a little question mark right here. Yep. Um, so the fussy spots that we had with the snow damage, you know, we're, get, we're getting some stuff to grow back up in there now. We've got grass growing up there. We do have some weeds coming up. Um, the way to really come over top of that is we can we can fertilize it and help feed the grass that's there to help okay. fill in. But then also overseeding that with more grass seed. You know, and as the more grass you get growing up, it'll help choke those weeds out and it'll help establish that lush green lawn we're looking for. Yeah, so thick, thick lawn is great to help stop the weeds and just make it look nice and then overall grows great over the years. Yeah, yeah, and then picking and choosing the right fertilizer like our, uh, our organic safe green lawn. Okay. Um, this has dairy doing it. You know, it is, it's chemical free. It's safe, you know, for your kids and your pets. Oh, my dog obviously don't have a problem with it rolling in it. I'm right. not worried about it. It's a key thing, you know. <laughs> Pets, animals, you know, anyone out there, I'll be fine if I run in it, right? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, we're getting a little more conscious about our children and stuff and what they're rolling in and what we're putting on our soil because it's having a backlash of what's going on with our children. So um, we put this together quite a few years ago, and uh, we've got golf courses using it, um, homeowners using it, and we're just having a lot of success with it right now. All right. So is it just for those questionable spots, or can it be used for the entire lawn? You can use it for the entire lawn. You know, um, this is this is the time of the year you want to be able to give your lawn a shot um, of food right now. And this is nice so it's not a chemical it's not salts it's more organic matter so it's going to help um, feed your plant when mother nature wants to be fed opposed to trying to force some chemicals down her throat all right then uh, pretty much just dump it in the fertilizer uh, the, the spreader and throw it out there yeah dump it in there set your settings right there'll be a there'll be a fertilizer settings um, set setting on there and just go by the guidelines of what your spreader says and put it in there and then go ahead and spread it so Justin, the uh, fertilizer's down. You can tell there are little grasses growing now. Yep. You said overseed it, right? Yep. Give it one shot of overseeding of some bare spots and help grow that grass in lush. All right, awesome. Hopefully in next month or so, we'll see some good results from this too. Of course, we're getting great results in the garden too. Something we'll check out next week.